I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Mr. President. As we conclude the last session of this 10th anniversary year, we civil society organizations from around the globe note that some of the Council's shortcomings remain unaddressed. Rather than enhancing membership, another region will present a close slate in the elections. This presents the GA with an impossible choice. It is forced to elect states that clearly fail to uphold the highest human rights standards and have even pledged to not cooperate with some of the Council's mechanisms. The Council also failed this year to create a system to consistently respond to situations which require its attention, such as the crackdown and reprisals against human rights defenders and civil society in Azerbaijan, Bahrain, China, Ethiopia, Russia, or Venezuela. Turning to the output of this session, the resolution on Yemen falls short of civil society demands for a full-fledged international commission of inquiry, as the grave situation on the ground requires. However, it mandates continued monitoring and public reporting by the OHCHR investigators and closer scrutiny by the Council. Should the violations continue, the Council must convene before the next session and consider how to strengthen international accountability for crimes in Yemen. On Burundi, we welcome the creation of a commission of inquiry and call on members of the Council to consider suspending Burundi's mem membership rights should the government fail to fully cooperate with the Commission or if the situation on the ground does not improve. We also welcome the resolution on the DRC and the Council's strong call for releasing detained journalists and strengthening the overall protection. We welcome the joint statement on Cambodia early in the session, but continue to call for stronger action to reverse the trend of closing democratic space in the country. We welcome the appointment of new mandate holders and recall the obligation of all states, particularly Council members, to cooperate fully with them. In closing, we again deplore that defenders were prevented from traveling to the 33rd session, including one from India and Bahrain. Some of those able to come were subjected to threats, smears, and intimidation. We call on you to remain vigilant to ensure all those cooperating with the Council are safe. Thank you. Thank you.